guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 and 7 of Banner of the Stars 2, so let's go ahead and get started on episode 6 in 3, 2, 1, go. If you don't go to sleep, please don't like, like you all I do for it. Two children, and I don't play at leash. There is no point in telling you to go to hell because they're already throw you out of there. Someone like you deserves to be in other hell. I'm Kevin. You'll play with me. Well, damn. Is that a clue about what's going to happen in these last few got Jesus Christ, words! <laughs> but is that a clue of how this, <laughs> this series is going to conclude? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I might have to reread this after I'm done watching um, both of these episodes and before I edit. Because especially with the fact that they're starting out like this, this isn't going to end well this week. No. Ah, oh, yeah. Early continuum. Where the fuck we left off? Bro, you about to get killed. Well, you sure ain't the one who's starting all this issue, you know, ever since the last episode from last week. Friends, there is no friends in this situation. Really? Too fucking late. You should have did that in the beginning. Ah! This is why no matter what, you always carry a weapon because you never fucking know what the hell is going to happen. Always. Freaking always. Carry something. Damn, carry some a freaking taser, some mace, something, so that just in case somebody tries to do something on you, you could be like, eh, and then just run to a car or something to freaking hijack the bitch. Oh my god, please, Jean Dolce. 
survive. We only have four more episodes left. Technically not even counting this next episode after this. I have three episodes left with this show. Hell, I might even watch this tomorrow, depending on, like, um, how tired or how not tired I am when I get off of work and such. If I can get it done, if, I, if I'm too tired, I'll do it Thursday, because that, that'll be the only thing I have to do, unless today is the 4th, tomorrow is the 5th, My fir I think my first official show starts on Friday. Friday or Thursday. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I, I, it would be smart to just in case something comes out Thursday for me. Because <sighs> something tells me it is. But seriously, who the fuck doesn't bring a weapon on? Uh, come on now! Hello? Yeah, but what the fuck are they going to do with you? Because in a way, they don't need you. They might kill you. Because they all died. There, once again, there is not going to be any end towards this. Of course he understands that. I mean, 100%, yes, a child needs a mother, but a child also needs a father. And let me guess, you didn't have your mother? This is why Steven should have just stayed with Gentle and none of this would happen.
Yeah, I, exactly. What is that going to do for you? Absolutely fucking nothing. Yeah, I didn't like him either, but damn, did we really have to kill him? all over the place oh
Great job, asshole. For now. Um, uh, blow my nose. Understandable, but I mean, <laughs> it only will happen if you kill Jinto, so maybe don't kill him.
But she wants to cry over him, though. Like, ah, uh, I can't, my heart. This is too much. This is only one of two episodes that I gotta watch today. This is why Jinzo should have went with them. <sighs> oh, this hurts. The fact that she is abandoning him, it, it's so fucked up. I understand why, because it is very risky to go get Jinto. But the fact is, you and Jinto have been together since the fucking beginning. So come on now. I don't like that. I don't like him being there with all those fucking assholes. I understand why some of these men are like, hey, if you take these women, I'm killing this boy. And then she over here like, hey, if you kill this boy, like there is far more worse, you know, than death, you know, some pure, you know, old fashioned revenge. And, and just, I can't imagine how that would go. But she's abandoning him. That really hurts. After everything these two have been through. Jinto almost died in Crest. Saving her. And you would think she would be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I have a debt. You are in my debt. The next situation where it's like, I have to sacrifice something to say, save you. But technically, she did that at the, uh, at the first banner. So, yeah, of course, that debt is already repaid. But come on now, you could have did that shit for the end of this series. I, I know there's something else after this, once again, as I've been saying for the last few weeks, because especially when I found out for it. But, um, as I said, the person who requested this only wanted me to do to banner two. I don't even know what to think. But I get it. it it's a it's basically a suicide mission. If anybody goes down there, anyone who goes down there could possibly die because of the fact that you got all these you know, very much kind of like alpha bred men who are like, I see red, you know, I see someone as a threat. And if I see him, I'm killing him. I'm taking him down. And that's it. Period. Point blank. End of story and such. Even with negotiating with these very high powered alpha guys, there still was no end to it. Yeah, you got a little bit of betas in there too and such. But like having someone... Like that, like, girl, mm, -mm. There, Once again, there is no end to this. No fucking end to this. And I feel bad for Dianto because he's, he's there. He is stuck there. He can't go anywhere else. Like, <laughs> after everything, fucking everything, honey, after everything he did for you, you are saying, fuck that, and you're leaving him. That's bullshit. This is... <laughs> I, I can't imagine how, like, the Seiyu for Lafayette, aka, you know, Saver, 
<laughs> fate <laughs> king Arthur, best <laughs> Aoki from Bakuman how she probably felt just reading those lines and acting those lines out I, I would have been heated like y'all really want me to leave this kid like damn after everything y'all been through two seasons prior like straight up but I, right now I got nothing else to say I, I'm pissed <laughs> I am pissed about this, but of course, I gotta watch one more episode to see how this is gonna end for this week, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys all in one second for episode seven. Okay, episode seven in three, two, one, go. Hmm. <sighs> I understand you don't cry, but she she could have cried this once over him because she cares for him. I would have went back for him. I would have said fuck that and, and if you really care for him I would have said Samson you go and you go bring him back like this is so fucked up Yes. Right. I mean, like, seriously, Raphael, after everything you've been through with Jinto, once again, him saving your fucking life. Like, seriously, how are you going to be here and, and straight, straight up forget about this man, this boy? Explain. <laughs> Like, imagine if it was freaking King Arthur, a.k.a. Saber, and, and freaking, you know, <laughs> Shittle. How she would literally be like, okay, fuck Shittle. I, girl, I would be pissed at her. I'm like, hold on, after everything you went through with him, <laughs> defeating other, you know, masters, <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't. Uh, seriously, after defeating all these masters and servants, and she was like, you know what? <laughs> she don't fuck you. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine in an alternate reality if that happened? Bruh. <laughs> I cannot. Girl. Mm -mm.
Exactly. So just go and board the damn ship. Of course he does. Why else is he doing all of this right now, huh? Well, you know, he might kill you as well. Please get him out of there. This is what ha like, I'm not going to say all guys are like this, but the way this is going is that, you know, you know how so, like I said, alpha male, the betas, the, the, whatever the rest of the freaking Greek letters are in the freaking alphabet and ish. When it is a whole bunch of guys and when one person disagrees on some shit, what are you going to do? You're going to kill him in order to shut him up. Or you're going to lock them up as a hostage, which they're kind of doing in a way as well. But Jesus Christ, like, mmm, God. I can't with these characters.
Yeah, it could be. Do they really need all them ships to go to go get you? Totally, damn. Like, <laughs> oh, Yeah, and do you really even have enough time? Yes, uh, of course she means <laughs> Exactly. And do we want that? I really don't think so. You're right about that. <laughs> well, she probably would have asked someone else. It really is, cause you, you. It's like almost one out of three. This could be a very successful mission.
<laughs> it's about multitasking. Guys, I don't think she wants all y'all to worry because I feel like because of the fact that y'all aren't really connected or have certain feelings towards Jean Doe, it's like, oh, okay, y'all don't worry about this. You know, mm, it's going to be okay. Exactly. <laughs> I know, and my hair was darker, and it looked, she looked really pretty. Exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, oh! Girl, if only you knew that fucking day. <laughs> uh.
for now. Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't be your fault. Oh, we got three episodes left, and I, I want that happy ending, but just, you know, some, just tells me that this time we are not going to get that happy ending with them. Even with the fact as of how the first two episodes of this final season began, you never know, it could be different. But at the same time, you have to kind of be a little more realistic. It, it's very similar to how I felt when I watched Fate UBW for the first time and got to the, I think it was like a 15 extra OVA thing. And it was already after, um, no, the one that I watched, not the 15 one, the, the one prior before I watched that, but when Saber officially left, like that was one of the hardest things because she's been there both, you know, her and Archer. And it was hard to see them both go and for them to, you know, for both my best girlfriend and for Shido to move on, but you still have memories of everything that happened and even people that, you know, at first you didn't really consider them friends and you did and then in the end you possibly had to kill them or you watched them die and such. But, uh, God, I just, I wish, I wish she could have gone, but I understand, yes, her, you know, the second in command would have done something to force her not to go out there because of course it is dangerous but I think she would have risked it all just to get him back but he, he's just he's there and he, they're so close but so far from each other and I don't like that I just I want him to get up I want him to wake up and I want him to find his own way out so that he can return to her again I don't like the fact that the last word was Jinto. That's not cool in my book. But I mean, really, like, however in the world this is personally going to end, because, of course, I am going to watch the last three episodes either tomorrow or on Thursday, like I said, depending on what time um, when I get home, because I'm normally home by like between 530 and six o'clock. And if I'm not too, too tired, then I'll probably go ahead and start everything and get it done. But if I just do, like, Bakuman tomorrow, then I will do um, Banner the following day before I have, like, anything else to do. Because, like I said, I don't know if any of my new shows will start on the 6th until 
you know, we get there. But, yeah, I mean, but for both of these episodes, it's very, the tension is high. The tension has technically been high for this season ever since the beginning of when this show started, or really when this season started. And getting that, like, oh, here's the quote-unquote ending of this season, but you're seeing everything that happened from the beginning up to quote unquote Jinto's death even though by the end of episode one or episode two from what I remember we saw Jinto kind of die but are really just some succumb to his you know whatever the fuck was happening I think he was sick or something I don't really I'm not really 100% sure on that but something tells me that when we do get to those last three episodes probably tomorrow or later on this week um that is when I'll probably find the truth. And it is going to hurt me. It really truly is. Because I hate the fact that she she wants to go. She How she wants to cry over him. But because of who, what she is as a species, she can't cry over him. She has to kind of basically, you know, still be a captain at the end of the day. But still, even the one person that she really truly cares about slash loves she can't really have any remorse for him. She has to feel bad about him. She can't do anything for him and such. And so it puts not only her at a predicament, but the way of how you're getting kind of a one-sided short story with her. The predicament I'm in as looking at her as a character because going from the beginning, these two cared about each other so freaking much. Yeah, they didn't see eye to eye in the beginning, but they found a friendship and a partnership and they've always been there for each other, ups and downs, whatever. And the fact that, you know, Lafayette has saved his life, you know, both, both of them have saved each other's life. They've been both in life and death situations and now this is like the ultimate test of their friendship and what they have to do as friends and you know technically almost each other's support system and or family and the fact that she can't do anything yeah it really truly hurts her and it really fucks her up because she she wants to do everything in her power to be with him again and so it just makes you wonder with these last three episodes how is this gonna go but that is all I can really truly say I'm really you know I'm excited but at the same time very very scared to essentially see how the fuck this is gonna end but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode six and seven of banner of the stars 2 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see everybody else next thursday and my patreons next saturday for the final three episodes but until then i will see you guys all next time bye